Good day, dear friends. It's uh, good again to speak to you on this state. Whatever your situation is today, we trust that the Lord will bless you. It is good to discard our face marks, our face masks, uh, so that we can see each other face to face. It was nice to know that the folk you meet in the street or where else, where you can see your smile or your frown. We also see the trees all green and we forget the stark bareness of winter. The Bible reminds us of the time when the winter is past. The flowers appear in the air and the season of singing has come. As we see nature alive, uh, bright and blooming, our spirits are lifted, yet there is much sadness around. We see the hatred of man to man, nationally, internationally, and to each other. We are reminded that we have been marred. This man that left God's hands perfect in all his beauty has been marred. God wanted to teach a lesson to one of his prophets, Jeremiah. So in his book, he tells him to go to the potter's house. He wanted to give him a lesson from the potter. He was making clay, pot, uh, making a pot from clay and was working on the potter's wheel. But as he worked, suddenly something happened. The vessel was marred. It was broken in his hand. So the potter had to remake the vessel from clay. This illustration is very relevant to us. We are all men and women of clay. We are reminded of this at funeral service when they said, thus we are and to thus shall we return. But the good news is this, as the Bible says, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Here is the greatest news that we can have, and it is found in the Bible. If anyone is in Christ Jesus, he is a new creation. It tells us in the Bible about the Lord Jesus who came into this world and came and lived amongst us, lived that perfect, pure life there. But men would not have him. They cried away with him. They put him upon a cross. They crucified him. And Jesus died on the cross. But on that cross, he poured the punishment of our sins. And God made to meet upon him the iniquity, the sin of us all. And Christ bore our sins in his body upon the tree at Calvary, Calvary. He wants to make us anew. This is a great purpose. So if we recognize that we need or we want eternal life, it is to be found only in Jesus Christ. He wants to give us this life as a gift. The Bible says the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. What a great message this is for us, that God is offering to us free and without cost and without price. Oh, it was costly for God to send his son, and costly for the Lord Jesus Christ to die upon the cross, but for us, it is free. And dear friend, this is great news for us. And the Bible says it is free. How do we get it? Well, the Bible goes again, tell us, confess your sins 
and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ and trust him, believe that he died upon the cross and bore the punishment for our sins and take him to be our savior. Let me again say as I would close this short meditation with you, the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. What a message that we have for today, for this week, for all time. And we just trust that you will believe what God says and place your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Every blessing to you. Trust that you have a good week. Thank you for listening.